so much to talk about because when I watched Rangers then last week in Europe and everyone kicked off the season, you know, I think most people said Celtic to win it, but not everybody. Some people mm-hmm. thought it would be Rangers. The squads are pretty even, people thought. When I looked at it last week, Stephen, with Calvin Bassi away and Joe Aribo, Rangers are definitely weakened. They're not as strong as they were last year. Or am I wrong? No, well, that's naturally going to happen when you sell two of your best players. Yeah. You know, trying to replace those right away, when the likes of Malik Tillman and, and, and Rabbi Matondo, for example, who can play in the Joe Rebo role where there's a number 10 or d- down the side, they're both young boys. Mm. So they're probably where Joe Rebo was when he arrived and it took him three years to get to that stage. So mm. as much as some of them are long-term projects, uh, the likes of Tom Lawrence is one of the ones you want to come in and try and hit the ground mm. and try and replicate what Joe Rebo had. I'm not too sure they could get a player to come in and replace Calvin Bassey because his career was going on such an upward trajectory all over the past, what, four or five months of it, sorry, the last four or five months at the end of the season. They couldn't have afforded to go out and replace him directly. So like I said, Ben Davies will be a different type of player. Jamie Sands is a different type of player, but sometimes you have to work with the finances that you have. It's not criticism, it's a reality. No, no, it's a fact. The, the, the Rangers squad doesn't look as strong as Celtic. Would you say that is the case, John? I'm not too sure. I think right. Rangers have yep. brought in some some decent players. Um, Cholak through the middle. Um, you know, he's already scored. Um, Morelos has decided to stay. They've still got Kent. They've still got the cracks of a very good team that got to the Europa Cup final last mm-hmm. season. So I, w- I wouldn't necessarily say that. I think Celtic have brought in some some good quality as well. But I wouldn't be looking at the table right now, Paul. I, I think both not teams sure. could... I would say it's at least 10, 15 games before you can get any sort of, make any judgment on, you don't want to be losing, you don't want to be falling sort of eight, 10 points behind. Mm. But at this stage of the season, it's all about getting the the, the, the right feel. It's all about getting mm. that. Well, Ange, we know the system, he won't change in terms of his 4-3-3. And it's all about just keep chipping away and, and the, the players will be getting fitter and fitter and fitter as the season goes on. So I wouldn't be making too many judgmental sort of um, comments on who's got the better, who's got the bigger squad. We'll find out a little bit more September the 3rd. Huge game at Celtic Park, the, the first one of the season, the derby. You know, we might be able to gauge it a little bit from that one. Hey, the wise head of John Hartson. I thought you'd jump it's in the tackle. It's changed, honestly. I know, man. I was sure you were going to go into the tackle. I'm sick thing. of causing headlines <laughs> on here. I'm sick of causing headlines, man. I'm just trying to just go with the flow now. <laughs>